Van size. 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 Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the studio. My name is Adam, and today's episode is going to be about the Vic Firth Robert Van Size series. Today's episode is a suggestion from Brennan Morano who said I should review the Van Size series from Vic Firth. And it just so happens that the Van Size series is one of my favorite mallet series of all time. I've used it so much this year. If you watched my recital live stream a couple of days ago, you would have noticed that I used Van Sizes for every single piece on the program. That's seven marimba pieces that I played with Van Sizes and nothing else. And I think they're my absolute favorite solo virtuosic marimba mallet series. Now Van Size teaches at Yale and he's taught some of the best marimba players in the world. He is one of the best marimba players in the world and he also taught the members of So Percussion. He's just done so much for the marimba community as a whole. He's definitely one of the leading artists in the marimba scene. And his Robert Van Sy's signature series by Vic Firth has been around for quite a long time now. And they used to be made by Adams, but now they've been transferred to Vic Firth because Vic Firth makes a lot more mallet sort of stuff. And that means you're getting the Vic Firth balance of quality, as well as a good price, as well as something that actually sounds pretty decent. In fact, that was one of the first things that drew me to these mallets was the price. They were actually quite affordable for what they are. But anyway, the Van Sy's series is divided into two streams, monotonal and duotonal. The monotonal mallets come in gray heads and they have the model numbers M11 something. And the duotonal mallets come in blue and they start with the model numbers M12 something. I don't have the duotonal van sizes because the monotonal ones are a bit more common and I was a bit more familiar with them, but I would love to get a pair in the future if someone will send them to me. Hint, 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 hint. Because of that, this video will focus mainly on the monotonal series. Now, the monotonal series goes from hardness levels one to six. So 111 to 116. One is the softest mallet, which is a very soft, which is a very big headed mallet, which is heavier than the rest of the series. 112 is a soft mallet. 113 is a medium soft. 114 follows marimba tradition and is a general medium mallet. 115 is a medium hard and 116 is a hard. I like that they've stuck to six hardnesses. It means that I can actually maybe one day buy the entire series without having to buy like 25 different hardnesses and like 35 different shaft options. I currently own one pair of twos, one pair of threes and one pair of fours. And I usually mix and match these pairs. So usually for most of my pieces, I'll have two, three, four, four left to right. So soft, medium, soft, medium, medium. And then sometimes for pieces that are a little bit more delicate, I'll have two, three, three, four. So soft, medium, soft, medium, soft, medium. For pieces that I really just want to go full soft, I can go two, two, three, three. So soft, soft, medium, soft, medium, soft. Just buying these three pairs of van sizes has given me a lot of flexibility in my sound in solo marimba, which I really like. But anyway, you didn't come here for a sales pitch. You came here to see the facts. So let's start with the build quality. First impressions of the van size is that it's a hand-woven, bullet-shaped head. Very traditional style marimba mallet. They come in this very stealthy gray color which I like. All the hardnesses have the same color and it means that you can't really tell the difference between the two, three or the four. See they all look the same so no one can tell you're using a graduated setup. I love being stealthy. Now Vic Firth makes a lot of claims about this head. For example the interlocking weave means that it's going to be more robust and it'll last for longer and they say because it's specially hand woven there's very little bar contact sound. And I can tell you after bashing these mallets like crazy <laughs> and knowing people who have owned van sizes for like five, six, seven years this Mallet series does not let you down. There is no contact noise. This gets a very pure sound of the marimba, but I'll leave that to you to judge. Now the shafts of the van sizes are pretty smooth to the touch. They feel pretty robust. I've done a lot of accidental rim shots on the marimba. <laughs> It still comes out in one piece. You see that? See that? <laughs> Rim shots all around. The text is very low key. It's not engraved. It's just printed on the stick. But for this price, that doesn't really matter. You're getting a mallet that does the job. So the writing is fine. And I like that it's just like a simple black font. It's not like all scrawly, like I'm Robert Van Size. The shaft bottoms are flattened out. They're not rounded. And that doesn't really bother me at all because it was pretty smooth when I first got it anyway. It's kind of gotten a bit of damage now because I've been using these for quite a long time. I wrapped it in red tennis tape because I didn't like getting shaft vibration, which happens with a lot of birch 
mallets, especially ones that are 50-50 balanced like these ones. When you're striking the bar of the stick, you get a lot of vibration through the back of the stick and it fatigues your hands a little bit faster. This is personal preference, some people don't mind. I find it personally annoying, so I wrapped it in tennis tape. And it just means that my hands don't get sweaty and stuff like that, Ew. And I really like the racing red of the low key gray, you know, aesthetics. All in all, a very robust mallet that will last you a very long time. Very little wear on the heads and it's just really well built. It also passes the non-existent studio squeeze test where when I squeeze the bottom of the mallet, it is rock solid. This thing will not come loose at all. Now ergonomics is one of the main reasons why I bought this mallet because look at this. It's a 50-50 mallet. <laughs> For those of you new to the show, I use the term 50-50 to describe mallets that are neither front-weighted nor back-weighted. So when you're holding the mallet about here for like two mallet playing, for example, it doesn't really go forwards or backwards. It's just sort of right there. That's 50-50. Of course, no mallet is truly 50-50. So this is more like a 52-48 because it is very, very slightly weighted towards the front. But I really like that because when you use it for a four mallet grip, say for an outside mallet, it just sits in your fingers. It doesn't feel so heavy like it's pushing your hand down. It doesn't feel so light like you're just holding a stick of air. This is pretty much the closest thing to a general weight mallet you could possibly get. And the best part is I can't even tell the difference weight wise between the two, the three or the four. They all feel the same. Length wise, I find these mallets to be pretty much the perfect length. They can reach an octave very comfortably. They can also play thirds and seconds very, very comfortably. Comfortably. You can really get that rotation going because of the 50-50 balance. It's just, in my mind, it's a perfect mallet for me. If you want a mallet that is pretty much near perfect in terms of balance, not too heavy, not too light, right in the middle, the van sizes will kill it. If you're more a fan of heavier mallets, well, I suggest you look through my last few episodes because they've all been about heavy mallets. Now, if I had to describe the sound quality of the van sizes, I would describe it as vanilla. As in, it was just the sound of the marimba. There was no contact sound, there's no no bar sound, no shaft sound, it's just marimba sound. I think because of the head design, as in the traditional mallet design, there's not so much warmth because it's got less surface area, but it's definitely got enough for most applications. But I'll let you guys decide on whether you like the sound or not. I'm gonna do a sound test right now and it's gonna be on my new microphones, new recording setup so you can really hear the difference. And my marimba is not in the studio, so I have to go to UWA. Give me a second. Hope this sounds good.
Alright, so these mallets are definitely my favourite, so I'm a little bit biased. These mallets are $36 a pair, which isn't like the cheapest mallet series in the world. There are definitely cheaper mallets out there. But these mallets are very flexible in their use, they're perfectly balanced, they will last a long time in terms of build quality. The sound quality is really good and will work for a lot of applications. It is definitely, in my opinion, one of the best marimba mallets you can buy right now. Reds, ice! So if you're a university student or a college student or even a high school student looking for a set of mallets that are versatile and also very good quality for the price, van sizes every single time van size <laughs> if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please leave a comment below if you want to suggest anything for the next episode and as always click that red subscribe button below if you want to keep up with my uploads i'm thinking of doing two episodes a week from now on until the rest of the year because now that i've finished my recital i have a bit more time to make these videos for you guys and i really enjoy doing this i learn a lot from you guys every day so thank you so much for watching these videos if you want to get any of these mallet life caps you can also get that in the description below there's a shop link right there and as always I will see you next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night.